What is up everybody? Welcome back to a Beamer Talk video. Today we're talking about boot mode. Let's go. So I've been getting a ton of questions on Instagram and YouTube about what should I do? Do you recommend it? Should I not do it? What parts do you recommend? And I want to answer a lot of those questions under two minutes. So let's drop a two minute timer and let's go. Right off the back, if you're planning on getting a stage one tune, do know that if you're under warranty, you will get a void. At the time that I first tuned my car, I only had an MST intake and an inlet as well as some exhaust work. And the exhaust work has nothing to do with the tune, but if you want burbles, I totally recommend that you remove the muffler. The two parts that I knew I had to change right off the back was the charge pipe and the boost pipe. And the first six months, six-ish, something like that, it drove perfect. I drove very moderately because I knew that that charge pipe was gonna give out some time. And it did, it gave out, I had a drivetrain malfunction and I knew that that thing had to be replaced. Luckily, Keys Motorsports sent me an FTP charge pipe. If you want one, look at my description and I have a link to the Keys uh, Motorsports link where I got mine. And I gotta tell you right now that that FTP charge pipe made a huge difference in how my car handled and supported the extra boost. It hit 24 PSI and that's like amazing for my 320i. So I totally recommend that either you change your charge pipe before or right away uh, once you get that stage one tune. The second part, it's more preventative. It's not something that it's totally recommended, but it's one of those things that I'm just gonna do it either way. I'd rather do it now than later. It's that boost pipe. I also got one from Keys Motorsports. It's the FTP boost pipe, and I totally recommend it because again, it's made out of very sturdy material. It's gonna give me a peace of mind for a very, very long time. Now, one of the last pieces that I've added to my car, and this, I did it just because I wanted to be safe all around. Uh, I read on the forums and I did a lot of research that the OEM diverter valve doesn't really sustain the extra boost from a stage one tune. So right away I invested into a go fast base diverter valve, which I also got from Keys Motorsports. Um, and I got to tell you, it's a peace of mind to know that I changed that as well because it's made out of some strong, um, I would say titanium maybe. It's made out of very, very strong material in comparison to the OEM one. In fact, when I removed the OEM diverter valve, it felt really cheap and it broke. So I totally recommend that you change it out um, just to be safe all around and to ensure that your car can sustain the extra boost that you're pushing from the stage one tune. Well guys, that's it for today. I hope that this brought you some value. Those are the parts that I totally recommend um, that you swap out once you get the stage one tune or before. Um, the diverter valve will take you some time. It took me about like four to five hours to change that out. I'm gonna have a video about it. You can look at it on my YouTube channel. The charge pipe and the boost pipe will probably take me like an hour. They're very easy, they're visible, and they're clear to get to. So those are the three things that I recommend you change before you get, or after, right away, you get that stage one tune. If you have any questions, make sure you uh, reach out to me on Instagram or YouTube. And uh, thank you so much for watching or listening if you're on the podcast. And I'll catch you next week, family. I'll see ya.